Hey boys, it's Arm Nun. Today we're going to be going over my top 10 Italian cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyway guys, let's get started with number 10. So guys, at number 10 we have the Lampadaddy Felon. Now you could put the Lampadaddy Felon GT here as well, but I have chosen to go for the Felon because it actually does have some customization that you can do to it, and I just feel like it's a better looking car than the Felon GT overall. Now the Felon goes for $90,000, or of course you can steal it off of the streets if you want to. That is how I would recommend to actually get yourself a Felon because it'll save you 90 k which you could put towards upgrades. Now the Felon has really, really good handling. It's also got decent acceleration when you fully upgrade it. It doesn't have the greatest top speed, but who can really complain because it is just a great car that you can get right off of the streets for absolutely no cost. The Felon is a fantastic vehicle and it's definitely one that I feel like everyone should own in Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for number 10. Let's move on to number 9. Alright guys, next up at number 9 we have the Grotty Cheetah. Now this is a car that is pretty underrated and not many people seem to know about in online and maybe it's for good reason. This is not one of the greatest performing vehicles ever but I do feel like it is a pretty unique looking vehicle and overall a pretty decent looking vehicle. Now you can disagree all you want, I know a lot of people really don't like the look of the Cheetah, I'm personally not the hugest fan, but I really do like my Cheetah and the customization that I have put on this thing. Now the Cheetah is a supercar, so it is of course in the supercars category. Makes perfect sense. And it goes for around $700,000. Now for that price, you can definitely do better, but the Cheetah overall is a pretty decent vehicle. The handling is very nice, the acceleration is decent, and it has a pretty okay top speed given that it is in the supercar category. Now don't get me wrong, you're not going to win a single race with the Cheetah, you'd be very hard pressed to do that, but as far as a car for free mode, the Grotty Cheetah is a pretty good one. It has decent customization, looks pretty cool in my opinion, and it's relatively cheap. What's not to like? Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for number 9, let's move on to number 8. Alright guys, next up we have the Grotti Itali RSX. Now the Grotti Itali RSX is a very, very expensive car, and it's not even the best sports car in the game. It does have a couple of flaws. Now this thing goes for 3.5 million dollars without the trade price unlocked, and with the trade price unlocked, it goes for 2.6 million dollars, which is pretty insane, especially if you factor in that that is without any upgrades done to this car in the first place. Kinda nuts. Now I must say though, the Itali RSX is one of the best looking cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online in my opinion. It has great customization that you can do to it as well, and it does have pretty decent performance. It is within the top 3 fastest sports cars in the entire game around a circuit. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the handling of this vehicle, but everything else about it is pretty damn good. It has a decent top speed, it has pretty good acceleration, good looking like I've said. But the real problem is that it costs $3.5 million if you don't have the trade price unlocked, which is just absurd if you ask me. It is a quick car though, and I would say I recommend picking it up if you got a lot of extra money laying around that you don't know what to do with. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for number 8, let's move on to number 7. Alright guys, next up we have the Pegasi Tauros. Now the Pegasi Tauros is one of the fastest SUVs in Grand Theft Auto Online. I do believe that this thing actually has the highest top speed out of any SUV in all of Online, and I know it is within the top 2 fastest SUVs in the entire game. Around a circuit of course. Now the Tauros is a very very good vehicle, coming in at $498,000 which is pretty damn cheap considering what this thing will do for you. On top of that it has great customization, there are so many different customization options for this vehicle, it's actually pretty insane. On top of that it's based heavily off of the Lamborghini Urus in real life, I actually couldn't tell you any other vehicle that it's based off of, so if you want to try it, I mean you can try and tell me it's based off something else, but I'm not going to believe you. The Tauros is definitely a vehicle that I recommend picking up in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's a vehicle that is kind of hated on by a lot of the community, but it really doesn't deserve any hate in my opinion. I think it's a fantastic vehicle. I missed one, so I gotta go back. Anyway guys, the Tauros is definitely an SUV that you guys are going to want to pick up in online if you have the opportunity to. If you got 500 grand laying around, you might as well dump it into a Tauros because if you plan on doing any SUV races, this thing will likely get you the win. Anyway guys, that's it for number 7, let's move on to number 6. Alright guys, and next up we have the Lampadaddy Furore GT. 
Now the Furore GT is a pretty underrated car in Grand Theft Auto Online. Maybe not underrated, but definitely underappreciated. This thing goes for $440,000 and it is of course in the sports category. Now unfortunately this thing has absolutely no customization that you can do to it, but that's not really why you buy this car. In my opinion, it's a fantastic looking car without any additional customization done to it. It also sounds really, really good. The turbo sound is crazy on this car. Pretty much every sound on this car is crazy. It's great looking from pretty much every single angle in my opinion as well. It's not gonna win you any races. That is the one problem that it has. It is a pretty slow vehicle within the sports category, but it's definitely not a bad vehicle, that's for sure. And for 440 grand, you really cannot go wrong with this thing. It's a really fun car to drive around. And yeah, it's not gonna win you any races, but not everything's about racing, right? That is pretty much it for the Furore GT. Let's move on to number five. Next up, we have the Grotti Turismo Classic. Now, the Grotti Turismo Classic is a fantastic car in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing actually has some pretty decent customization that you can do to it. It's obviously heavily based off of a Ferrari F40 in real life, which is a legendary car. And on top of all of this, it is technically the best car for racing within the sports classic category. This thing consistently gets great lap times, and it is just ahead of the Karate Cheetah Classic. Now, I was very close to putting the Cheetah Classic on here because it has much better customization and honestly, maybe a better looking car than the Turismo Classic. However, the Turismo Classic does just have better performance overall, albeit very slightly than the Cheetah Classic but I did feel like this thing was deserving of the number five spot on this list. The Turismo Classic, of course, on the expanded and enhanced edition of Grand Theft Auto Online also has an HSW upgrade that you can do to it, which makes it one of the fastest vehicles in the entire game. Of course, that is exclusive to the expanded and enhanced edition. Now, the Turismo Classic goes for around $700,000, which is a pretty fair price considering just how great this thing's performance is. In my opinion, the Turismo Classic is what the Tauros is to the SUVs category, but for the Sports Classic category. Both are fantastic cars, and you should definitely pick both of them up if you have the ability to. That is pretty much it for number five. Let's move on to number four. At number four, we have the Grotti Itali GTO. Now, the Grotti Itali GTO is the best sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you want to try to argue about it in the comments, go right ahead. But just know if we get into a race together, I'm going to gap you in the Itali GTO because it's just such a great car. Now the Italia GTO, as you guys can see, mine is completely set up for racing. It's got every advantageous piece that you can put on this thing so that I have the best possible chance of winning in a race. Now you can make the car look really, really nice, really elegant and classy looking, but uh, I've obviously gone for the off-road tire sort of look on my vehicle. This vehicle does come at a cost. It's right around $2 million, which is a little bit on the expensive side, but given the fact that it is the best sports car in the entire game, for circuit racing, it is a price that I at least am willing to pay. The handling on this vehicle is absolutely amazing. The acceleration is even better than the handling is. The top speed is a little bit weak, but that's not really something that matters too much unless you're playing on a straightaway track. But for a free mode car, the Italia GTO is a fantastic vehicle as well. This thing will get you from point A to B faster than almost any other vehicle in the game with the exception of some F1 cars and the top supercars. The Italia GTO also has fantastic customization that you can do to it, so you can really make this thing look as unique as you want to. It also sounds fantastic, and really there's nothing that I can even complain about with this thing, but maybe I'm just personally biased. Anyway guys, that's it for number 4, let's move on to number 3. At number 3, we have the Grotti Carbonizer. I'm sure some of you guys saw this coming. The Carbonizer is a fan favorite in Grand Theft Auto Online. Almost everybody that I've ever talked to loves the Carbonizer. I don't know what it is about this thing, maybe it's the fact that it's from 2013, it's from OG Grand Theft Auto, maybe it's the fact that it's a great looking vehicle, maybe it's the handling, maybe it's the performance, I don't quite know, but the Grotti Carbonizer is a fantastic vehicle. It is also a convertible, which I'm, sh I'm sure you guys probably noticed that, but it is not a soft top convertible, it is a hard top convertible, which definitely helps I feel like. It might also help that this was one of the only convertible cars in the early edition of Grand Theft Auto Online, so that is something that it has going for it. It's also got a tiny bit of customization. The acceleration is fantastic on this thing. You're not going to win any races, but trust me, it's fantastic. You can also swing this car around like crazy. The handling is great. You can drift this thing or you can make it grip up. It's just such a versatile car. 
It also only costs $195,000 in order to get this thing, which is pretty much chump change. And for that price, you get one of the best cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. I know that might be a hot take, but I personally think that the Carbon is there is truly one of the best cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for number three. Get a Carbon is there. I don't know what else to say. This thing is absolutely awesome. Let's move on to number two. At number two, we have the Pegasi Zentorno. I remember the day that this thing came out with the High Life DLC all the way back in 2014. Zentorno was a car that I was super, super hyped for, and I truly believe that the Zentorno is the best bang for your buck supercar that you can buy even to this day in Grand Theft Auto Online. The Zentorno has fantastic acceleration, fantastic customization, fantastic handling, great looks, one of the most unique looking supercars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online, carbon fiber everywhere, sounds amazing. Really there's nothing wrong with the Pegasi Zentorno, definitely a staple of Grand Theft Auto Online in my opinion, especially of the supercars category. This thing goes for only $725,000. It's a pretty unbeatable price given the great performance of this thing. I believe around a track, the Zentorno is still within the top 20 supercars in the entire game, which is pretty insane to think about because this thing came out around seven years ago. The Zentorno is a car that I think everyone should own in Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't care how much garage space you have. I don't care how much money you have. Zentorno is a vehicle that everybody should own. And I think most of you will probably agree with me on that. That's it for number two. Let's move on to the number one Italian car in Grand Theft Auto Online. At number one, we have the Pegasi Tempesta. Now the Tempesta is truly a great supercar in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing has so much customization and for quite some time in online, the Tempesta was the best supercar that you could use for racing. It's also very, very realistic and very closely resembles the Lamborghini Huracan in real life, which is very, very cool in my opinion. I am always a fan of realistic looking vehicles, so the Tempesta was natural for me to like. The handling on the Tempesta is better than any other car that we've gone over in this list. The acceleration is better than any other car we've gone over in this list, and I believe the top speed is also better than any other car we've gone over in this list. The customization options are pretty great with this thing, I wish there were a few more to be honest, but it is pretty damn good. The Tempesta is still one of my favorite supercars in the entire game. It's definitely up there with the Zentorno for me, and I would definitely rank it within my top 20 cars in Grand Theft Auto Online of all time. Now the Tempesta goes for about $1.3 million, which is pretty cheap considering how good the performance of this vehicle is overall. I believe the Tempesta is also within the top 15 fastest supercars in the entire game, so it slightly outperforms the Zentorno, although that car is fantastic too as you guys heard. That is pretty much it for number one though guys, the Tempesta is an awesome car. Definitely another one that I would recommend everybody picking up and owning in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is just, it's fantastic in pretty much every single way. Anyway guys, that is it for the video. If you enjoyed this or you learned something, leave a like, if not dislike. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of my list. Subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.